welcome 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 it is the full moon for you air sign for September 2019 I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back we have um, some new um, cards um, they're not really new but um, they are cards uh, that has been and the work hands but I am home so we are going to be using those cards so as you draw my favorite deck we are using this deck okay it's one of my favorite decks and we are going to be looking at what the full moon energies have for you guys okay I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um, this is wonderful this is good I am so happy for this month of September because this month of September has so much um, just a lot of healing energies that is coming up and as usual you know how it works we are going to be looking at every houses and you need to remember what your houses is and as of October full moon you will be able to um, um, receive um, an extra the extra um, full moon energies for your own zodiac sign so there we are there is a lot of changes that is coming up so um, for the extended reading you're going to be receiving it in your extra in your own zodiac sign okay so this is good it is positive um, as you draw um, we are going to be looking at the Sun and moon energies to see what's coming up for you air sign people remember um, this full moon is going from the um, uh, this full moon always goes from uh, the 15th of one month to the 15th of the other month because it has to do with the full moon energies okay it has to do with the full moon energies so um, as of next month you are going to be receiving it in a different formula and this is because the angels and guides are asking for different energy vibrations to come in so that they can work with you guys okay so remember the Sun people if you were born um, 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. you are a Sun person if you were born 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning you are a moon person okay so let's get some um, light in because it's um it's very hot it's uh, summertime so um, it's very hot so um, I have the ventilator here now so let's uh, um, take a look and see what is going to be coming up um, for you air sign people so remember the air sign is the Aries Leo and the Gemini okay so we're calling in um, the angel of the moon Archangel Annual and all the angels of the moon Sun moon horizon sign um, to come in um, and show us the energy for the Sun sign people what are they going to be dealing with and the moon sign people for the month of September September um, 2000 uh, September um, 2019 okay so here we go so for the Sun people we have the opposition and I'm gonna get my Braille up finally <laughs> get my right Braille my right glasses so for the Sun people we have this energy that is coming up now there is opposition and balance and there is the sex style of opportunities so this is good because for you Sun people when we're dealing with the opposition of balance that means it is you seeing yourself you mirroring yourself you're seeing yourself you're mirroring yourself it's about discipline it's about manifestation and it's about conflicts and it's about testing that you have to go through okay so each and every person we go to um, testing relationship testing times in our lives so when we are thrown to the wolves and this is what is going to be happening 
the sex styles of opportunity is very good because with the sex styles, sex styles of opportunities, there's going to be collaborations, a whole lot of collaborations. There's going to be excess um, um, assistance coming in, expe expense um, opp um, opportunities, synchronicities are going to be happening. So this is good. Communication and welcome development. So this is good because the sex style of opportunity is always good. So you here, sign sun people are going to be having these energies coming up and it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be positive because what is going to be happening and transpiring is that there are positive alignment of energies that are coming for you guys and it's going to be good. So for you sun people, it's going to be really a transition of uh, healing that is coming in. Now for the moon people, remember if you were born um says um i think it's um six 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 o'clock um after six o'clock till six a.m in the morning um you know you're the nurturing um people okay you are the people who has the feelings your feelings and emotions are very high okay so moon people no matter what people say to you um you know your feelings and emotions are very high but it's okay because you're square with challenges okay so some of you moon people are going to be having some challenges struggle um, um but you have to push through this energy okay it hurts working out and reconciliation but you have to push through these energies whatever is happening whatever there's a square um, um, square challenges that is coming in it means obstacles but you have to work through these obstacles push through those obstacles because you're going to be coming out on top because you have a tune in flow and um, after you work through this what is going to transpire is that arm um, harmony is going to be coming in your life you're going to be enriched with either knowledge educations gifts rhythm um, a whole lot of wonderful things is going to be coming in so you're going to be having some obstacles but these obstacles are going to be falling away because you're going to be working on these obstacles and then you're going to be tuning in the right flow the flow that was meant for you the flow that was meant for you to flow in okay um, remember that um, as of next year next uh, month um, I'm going to be um, changing up the readings and each individual so um, the Aquarians the Gemini's are going to be having their own personalized um, full moon reading and this is going to be good okay the north mode have the conquest with the north mode and it's going to affect all of you okay so the Queen Lakes um, the north node remember the north node is your destiny so whatever is happening it's going to be bringing you um, to vibrate in your own destiny field so this is going to be good it's going to be positive for you guys because it is coming up in the north node so ladies and gentlemen remember your houses um, for the Gemini you have the third house the third house affect the Gemini so whatever falls in the third house for the Gemini it's going to be affecting you okay um and for um the um liberance you have the energy of the seven house it's about balance it's about partnership it's compassion it's um friends marriage relationship opposition equilibrium sharing justice and balance and social awareness okay so um remember what houses you are okay i will ex um explain it as I go along the 11th house is the house of uh, the Aquarians okay so sorry about my hair but um, I have to put the ventilator the ventilator on the fan on so um, the Aquarians you have the 11th house and remember sometimes you share this house with a Capricorns okay so that's why sometimes Capricorn and Aquarians don't really get along because they have the same sort of an energy vibration so be aware of this okay so for the hair sign people let's see what is coming up in the individual house remember the Aquarians have the 11th house you're in the 11th house and it's all about friendship it's all about group creativity it's all about communication it's about humanity it's about hope um, it's about festive discoveries and that sort of a thing so remember your houses okay 
so what we have we have mercury coming up in the first house this is the energy of the planet and it's coming up in the first house for you air sign people okay then we have Virgo coming up in the second house the second house is all about your financial stability your material world your position um, your talents and value um, credit score it's about security and alternative and you have the energy of uh, the Virgo so it's as if um, the Virgo is the energy of the alchemist and the energy of the alchemist is always uh, producing for you then we have the Leos coming up in the third house so there are Leos that is going to affect the Gemini so you Gemini's be aware of this because you're going to be having issues with the Leos but also issues with expressing creativity loving being playful warm and overconfident. okay then in the fourth house the fourth house is root it's all about the family it's all about control it's all about the home you have the scorpion okay the scorpion the energy of the hand the uh, animal uh, okay the energy of the animal so you have the scorpion in the fourth house so some of you are going to be dealing with scorpions in your family the fifth house is the house of passion and the Gemini's are in the fifth house so passion is going to be good for you Gemini's entertainment creativity playing love affairs passion um, um, pursuit in parties children wants to have children romance human um, you're going to be going out you Gemini so this is going to be good then we have the Taurus that is landing in the sixth house now this is a good house for earth sign so the sixth house is just basically going to be bringing you balance now the sixth house is the house of craft it's a house of work it's a house of detail it's a house of health well-being diet services that sort of a thing okay so you are going to be dealing with the Taurus and some of you could be um, using that sort of a six house energy um, to open and start your own business okay so that is good then we have the Pisces the mystical people and they're falling in the seventh house now the seventh house is the house of relaxation so whatever is playing out and whatever is there I'm seeing some of you could be partnering up you liberals could be partnering up with a Pisces but also they could be coming in as partners or companionship or best friend you could be getting married to them they are equilibrium they're bringing equilibrium in your life and you're going to be sharing common goals with the Pisces okay don't forget these Pisces are very mysterious okay there's a lot of love in this full moon for you guys and I tell you where they are now you Aquarians the innovators you're falling in the eight house of intimacy and that is the house of the scorpions so there is a lot going on for you Aquarians um, because the eight house of intimacy is going to be affecting you Aquarians okay you're you're having an effect in the eight house of intimacy for you Aquarians so we are going to be explaining that for you the ninth house we have the energy of the Aries and the ninth house is about seeking so some of you could be connecting with the Aries or carrying the energy vibration of the Aries you could be traveling ninth house is all about traveling it's foreign adventures higher education customs faith beliefs and you have something to do with an Aries okay so there is going to be a radical change for you guys in this department as we look at the 10 house we have the 10 house of reposition and the Capricorn fall in their houses <laughs> okay so this is wonderful you guys um, whatever is transpiring whatever is happening the, 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 the Capricorn fall in the house of reputation so a lot of you are going to be having Capricorns as your boss to deal with but I'm going to go deeper in that as we move along then in the 11th house the 11th house is coming to the edge the 11th house is with friendship groups um, co um cooperation community hopes you know festival um, discovery and you have the Libra the Libra the idealistic so some of you are dealing with the liberals and this house is also going to affect the liberals okay so um, this is good let's look at the house of surrender which is the 12th house the house of surrender is the 12th house and the Sagittarius the Voyager is here the Sagittarius the Voyager is here so some of you 
could be releasing the, the Sagittarians okay some of you um, could be releasing the Sagittarius okay so let's pull one more card to see what's happening in the first house for the self because mercury is there so it's all about communication and it has to do with the cancers so in the first house it has to do with the cancer so there is a lot going on between you and the cancers and communication in this house so now as we go we are going to be checking out um, what the planetary effects you um, you guys are going to be having um, what for planetary effects you guys are going to be having so let's see what's coming up as planetary uh, effects in the second house uh, we have Jupiter so there's a lot of luck that is going to be coming up and a Virgo is going to bring you a lot of luck okay a Virgo or an alchemist is going to bring you a lot of luck and whenever Lux comes up in the second house Jupiter um, falls in the second house it has to do with uh, luck luck with money luck with games luck with um you name it there is luck coming up pluto is in the third house and the third house for you gemini something is removed out of your life and it can be a leo or your partner okay then we have scorpio coming up the ascendance the outlook um and the ascendance coming out in the fourth house so it has something to do with your roots your family Mars is in the fifth house, and the fifth house is the house of passion. So Mars is in your fifth house. And then we have Venus, the planet of love, is coming up in the sixth house. So it's the love of what you like doing is going to be coming out. Then we have Uranus falling in the house of the Aquarius. And remember that the Aquarius and Uranus has um, Uranus. Um, is the planet that rules the Aquarians the Aquarians um, so there is a a revelation that is coming up we have Kryon um, for you Aquarians coming up in the eight hours you're dealing with an healing from sex um, a healing from intimacy is going on for you guys in that house so as we look at the ninth house the planetary aspect is Jupiter is a Neptune so a lot of you could be connecting with uh, spirit guides, uh, um, UFO, um, angelical beams, uh, um, light beams that is coming in. And um, uh, it's going to be good for you. Capricorn house. Capricorns is going to bring you Aquarians some, um, bring you air signs some luck. Okay, so the Capricorns is going to bring you air signs some luck this is good I'm going to elaborate as I go along and this is kind of weird I have Saturn I'm missing one so we have Saturn the planet of wisdom that is falling in your 11th house Whew. okay ladies and gentlemen all right I'm trying to figure out because it's as if I'm missing um, um, the planets let's see how many planets we have what planet um, Saturn I got Saturn Pluto Neptune five six seven seven planets okay so I might be missing some card now what we have here is the North Node, and the North Node is coming up for you guys in the House of Surrender. So it's as if some of you are going to be surrendering to your destiny, okay? So you're definitely going to be surrendering to your destiny. Whatever is happening or whatever is transpiring, you're definitely going to be surrendering to your destiny okay so it says some of you are going to be finding out uh, um, you know what is your true destiny what were you destined to do what you what did you come to this planet to do okay so you are going to be surrendering to your di divine purpose okay your divine life purpose okay it's like okay um, I've tried this I've tried that it's not working so I am going to surrender to the destiny okay and this is what is going to be transpiring and going to be happening because you're going to just um, 
surrender surrender to that that which um falls like it is where you surrender you fight it no more and you surrender you take life as it comes you choose what makes you happy that career that makes you happy because I'm seeing um, changes that is coming up in your career zone and you're going to be just surrendering to that which makes you happy okay so definitely I'm seeing career changes coming up here so let's go in and look and um, and, and see what is uh, um, happening for you guys so remember the first house is a house of yourself okay it's a house of who you are as a person now what is transpiring in this um, full moon from 15th of September until 15th of October you're dealing with mercury mercury especially you are going to be communicating communication is going to be the key and some of you need to communicate with a cancer or a cancer is going to be helping you to communicate so that uh, the feelings the nostalgia the illumination of who you are however way you need to communicate now um, mercury is here and it's all about communication so in whatever way you need to communicate you're going to be receiving this help to communicate clearly some of you are going to be having issues um with a cancer so these could be um sibling relatives um friends who are cancer um people who are coming up as past life friends so be aware of this because it's definitely going to be happening especially for you guys in the self because the self is the first house and that is who you are that is your personality okay and communication is going to be the key now this is wonderful because in the second house who we have in the second house we have is always your materialistic so think about your house your position whatever you have this is the house but what is so wonderful is that Jupiter is in your second house so that means you have luck with money um you know going to the casino is going to be very lucky for you guys between 15 or 15 September and 15 October if you're buying um, the lottery um, it's the yeah it's gonna be lucky so some unexpected money and this could be that a, a Virgo going to be helping you out okay a Virgo could come in as an alchemist of an alchemist could come in to help you guys out because they are going to be helping you um, to have a good financial stability there's two lucky things that is coming in and it's luck in your materialistic possession because there's a Virgo that is going to be coming in to help you with your materialistic stability and the universe the planet of Jupiter the planet of luck is here in your second house of money so money is looking good for you guys it's good to ask for a personalized um, 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 astrologue reading or moon reading because this gives you so much information the third house and the hearth the house of the Gemini um, it is the house of the perception and something is going to be transforming in your life whatever is there there is something that is going to be transforming because we have Pluto Pluto is removing a relationship a marriage um, an unhealthy relationship or marriage out of your life some healthy relationships that you have Pluto is here to remove it out of your life okay so the energies of the Leo's comes up some of you it could be a Leo but some of you it is uh, um, the energy of a lover is being moved out of your life some hold on healthy relationships that you were having Pluto is coming to make this transition and when Pluto comes it takes that thing directly out of your life it's as if we have been telling you and we have been showing you the red sign you're not listening to us so we are taking away this person out of your life okay so you got to be understanding and you got to know what's playing out it's the expressive part is the loving is the play is the warmth but Pluto is here and Pluto needs to heal the situation because remember this month is a month of healing 
And in this month, it's as if the universal angels and guides are seeing that there is an unhealthy relationship or an unhealthy person that needs to be removed out of your life. Okay, and Pluto is definitely coming in to do that. In the fourth house, the fourth house is a fourth house of family. Okay, so in the fourth house of family, um, your background, where you're from, you know, real estate, the the, the shoulders, whatever is happening. Um, now some of you could be receiving the house that you wanted. Okay. Some of you could be really finally receiving that house that you wanted. Okay. Some of you are going to be looking at, um, a scorpion in a different way because the scorpion is coming up. Now the scorpion is the animal instinct. I remember you guys, um, are dealing with, um, the family and this could be a sister or a brother but whoever this person is it is a family that is helping you to see something and it's going to give you an end um, to make something of your life okay so if you have a, a sister a mother or so who is a scorpion um, they could be coming in and helping you out unexpectedly this person could be like saying hey I can stand as guarantee or I can help you do this or I will be there for you you know, but you need to leave this relationship or you need to cut this person out of your life. But whatever it is, and I'm getting the feeling that some of you were looking for a house, a new house or something like that. And you're definitely going to be finding that new house. That new house is definitely going to be coming in. And this is going to be good. Whoever the scorpion is, is a family member and they really truly love you. Now, this could be a father figure as it could be a sibling but it is someone in the family that is coming up they really truly love you and they're going to be helping you out now we have the fifth house and the fifth house is the house of passion you Gemini's are affected by the fifth house the house of passion so it's gonna be good for you Gemini's because I see you um, in a lot of new romance new intimacy um, I'm seeing you um, communicating very carefully I'm seeing you Gemini's in love you are enjoying yourself you're on vacation you're enjoying yourself but it's gonna come to an end because Mars Mars is here okay Mars is here now um, it could be Mars could be coming in and saying hey you have been so long with this person it's time to get married to this person or that sort of a thing but Mars could be also saying, yes, you have enough romance. The summer is over. You know, you got to balance out yourself. Um, you know, it is time for you to pick things up and move forward because you have been in this position for quite some time. So whatever that is happening or whatever that is transpiring in the house of passion, Mars is coming in. So Mars could be ending it or Mars could be saying it is time for you to bring this relationship to a new level and open up to new, more exciting developments. So, you know, you could be on vacation and decided, oh, I'm going to marry this person. I feel like I could spend the rest of my life with this person. So it could be a situation like that, that Mars is saying, yes, the passion and everything is ended and we're going to be, um, you know, doing something new. So that could also be a situation for you guys, because it's in the house of passion. Then we have the house of the craft and it is the sixth house and you have in the Taurus and love. So some of you in the sixth house, I'm seeing you connecting with someone from a past life. Whoever this person is, they could be coming in as business, but they're coming in as lover because they really cares about you because this person loves you. It's like first sight of love, love what you're doing, love and really want to connect with you, really want to make things work for you. So expect to meet a Taurus. It could be via via or it could be in a business sense. It could be work, but love is it's as if love at first sight okay because the Tauruses are governed by the planet of Venus and they have a lot of love but they're good with business too okay so this is good as we look at the seven house the seven house is relaxation and some of you are going to be connecting with the Pisces now it doesn't have to be with the Pisces but whoever you're connecting with real in relaxation 
I'm seeing a breakthrough some information is going to be coming through is it about the Pisces or is it about something mystical okay so it could be the Pisces or it could be something mystical and it has to do with you Libra and so whatever is happening to you Libra some unexpected breakthrough about a Pisces is going to be coming out and this is going to be alarming you some of you are going to be having these beautiful brainstorm over things awakening um, of yourself technologists and that sort of a thing and it's going to be good because it's in the seven house so true relaxation your um, guides and angels could be coming in mystically to help you to give you ideas but it's, it's, it's like an unexpected breakthrough that is going to be coming in unexpected breakthrough that is going to be coming in but it's going to be powerful but it's in a positive way as we look at the eight house we have the house of the Aquarians now this is so good because the energy of the house of intimacy for you Aquarians and it's going to affect most of the Aquarians so um, in intimacy that you need to heal some intimacy something about intimacy okay it's about sex some contracts some um, it could be the awakening of the Kundalini that is rising also okay it could be the underworld that you're having sex um, with the unseen that sort of a thing but it's going to be ill and it is a time for healing so if you're open to heal this situation because crying come in for you Aquarius in the Oak house of intimacy that means it's going to affect you Aquarius that you need um, to heal whatever is going on for you Aquarians okay you really need to heal it because whatever is happening whatever is transpiring definitely a healing is coming in as we look at the nine hours I'm seeing radical changes especially if you are in a relationship with an Aries I'm seeing radical changes coming in um, whatever is happening is that some of you could find out that in this ninth house if you're dealing with an Aries that they have been sending negative energies to you or they're working um, um, black magic or they're, they're they're very negative okay this is with Neptune so it's the unseen so some of you are dealing with an Aries and this Aries is working with lower energies and they're sending negative energies and that sort of a thing so you got to be aware of who you are because whoever this Aries is they're not working on a positive energy vibration okay this area some of you are going to be taking on the energy of radical radicalizing something in your life taking hold and taking the rain back in your life okay so be aware of that now the tent house and you know the tent house one and zero is ten is a new start and universe is speaking to you and guess who is in it the Capricorns you know love you or hate you Capricorns they're very spiritual okay whatever is happening these Capricorns are going to bring you some luck unexpectedly these Capricorns are going to be bringing you some luck if you notice the Capricorn fall in the tent house and that is their house the tent house is the house of repetition okay the tent house is the house of repetition so a Capricorn could be coming in and helping you out and this is going to be good because they could be healing your reputation if your reputation was broken they could be showing you how to heal your reputation but they're going to bring you a lot of luck and you know whoever you meet that is a Taurus that is a Capricorn definitely they are going to make you very lucky okay because luck is in the ten the tent house and you know at the work floor at work they're going to be helping you out okay so if your boss is a Capricorn because they're always bosses um, they're going to be helping you out unexpectedly helping you out to give you a higher um, um, they're going to be healing your reputation okay so whoever this Capricorn is they're coming in and they're going to make you very lucky and heal your reputation okay so if your reputation was a little bit off whatever issues and whatever situation the Capricorns are coming in now the 11th house of the Aquarians you're dealing with the Librans so this is good but the Librans is coming to shake up your world okay um, Saturn is here and it's about discipline so some of you 
who are dealing with the liberants they're going to be shaking up your world now it could be in good and it could be in bad um you could be connecting with a liberal girlfriend or some liberants and they're going to be saying hey you know your work is much better but whatever it is this liberant is coming in to show you something so they're basically helping you out because they're like wake up you gotta wake up you know stop sleeping you got to be awakened and see what is happening around you. Wake up. So this is what is happening for the collective of you air sign people. That in your 11th house, which is the house of coming to the edge, because it's as if some of you have lost your way and a Libra is going to be coming back to bring balance in your life. Because Librans are always bringing balance in your life. They use the source of truth in the right way to cut through the bullshit. So, you know, and an Aquarius could be helping a Libran, Libran could be helping an Aquarius, but it's about bringing back balance because Saturn is like Saturn is like cut the bullshit out. Saturn is breaking breaking you down so that you can build up. And the last and final house is the twelve house that we have here, and the twelve house is the house of surrendering. So, so um, unconsciously or subconsciously. You're going to be surrendering things and it's a good month to do that because healing is going to be coming in. You're going to be surrendering things, whatever that was happening, whatever that was transpiring, you're definitely going to be surrendering things. Okay. You're going back to the Ash Akashic records and this is a month which is good for you guys to go back in dream times to go back to the Akashic records and they are going to be helping you to teach you how to release certain energy. So it's about um, the astro travel for you guys. It's about in the dream time going back um, to find what it is you were meant to be. What did you choose to come to this planet to heal certain karmas? Okay, it's about surrendering certain things, issues that you're dealing with in this lifetime that no longer serves you. And what you're doing is going back to the Akashic records in your dream times. A lot of people pay people to go back to the Akashic records, but you can go back to the Akashic records yourself whenever you want. Just call upon your angels and guides and ask the requests to visit the Akashic records so that you can heal whatever issues that you're going on. Okay. A lot of people pay a lot of money um, to get people to read their Akashic records, but you yourself can access your Akashic records. As you do this, you're going to be accessing what is your true destiny, and you're going to be understanding at the end of the month. Wow, I'm really, really loving your reading. I can't wait until we're going to be looking at each sign separately. And I want to say to you guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful full moon. It's a full moon of healing, especially the Aquarians. It is time to heal whatever that is affecting. Um, it is time to heal for the Aquarius, whatever is affecting your intimacy, whatever past life issue with your intimacy in this month of September, it's going to be the time to heal it. So go ahead and heal it. Okay. Please like and share these videos. Share, share, share this video. Luck with money is coming up for this full moon. Um, check out the on demand because i'm going to give an extended day of this on demand and please let me know if you want your full moon reading to be your only sign or you want it in the collective of the hair sign okay so just um leave a message that yes i prefer to have my full moon reading um with only my zodiac sign okay so i have to do it in the collective but i can do the on demand and extended day in your own sign ladies and gentlemen i love you all i want to say namaste until next time mm -hmm.